Hello everyone, Tony here once again, and today we're going to do the real review of Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb Extreme. Now, when I say real review, it doesn't mean that anybody else's review is fake. No. What I mean by that is that I purchased this fragrance myself with my own money, so I'm not going to pledge no allegiance to nobody. There is no brand loyalty. I'm a real consumer just like you. There is no affiliate link, so you can click, buy something, and I get some commission. None of that. And most importantly, I am not trying to sell you anything. If I tell you that I like something, that means I really like it. And if I tell you that I don't like something, that means I really don't like it. And yes, I am 100% ripping off Flossie Carter on that intro. I am in no way, and I repeat, I am in no way, shape or form, claiming that I'm an expert or that I know more than anyone else in the fragrance community. I'm just gonna share my thoughts and experience with you so you can decide if you drop your hard-earned money in a bottle of perfume or not. Take my review and really anyone's review with a grain of salt. We all have different perceptions, different skin chemistry, and of course, different taste. So let's get busy. Now let's start off with one of the most important aspects when it comes to purchasing a new fragrance, the price. Now there's really no point of telling you the price of the fragrance because if you watch this video two, three, five years from now, chances are price is gonna be a little or a lot higher due to inflation. But today you can get this fragrance, the 90 milliliter bottle, for 145 euros. Now price is always gonna be subjective. There are some people who may save up for months just to get this fragrance and there are some other people who can afford to buy two or three 300 or 500 dollar fragrances in a single purchase in a regular basis. So it depends on each people's economy of course. But in my opinion the price is a tad overpriced. Why am I saying that? Stay tuned for the answer. Is this worth 145 euros? Let's find out. Now let's continue with the notes. According to Victor and Rolf's website, we have a few key notes listed. Those are Black Pepper Essence, Saffron Accord, and Sistus Absolute. I'm gonna say once again that we're gonna need to head back to my beloved Fragrantica to see the olfactive pyramid. But actually there is no such thing. However, we have a few notes listed. So according to Fragrantica, we've got vanilla, tobacco, cinnamon, cumin, bourbon whiskey, and saffron. By the way, this is an EDP concentration, eau de parfum. We have good quality notes in here. Some of them might be natural, some of them might be synthetic, but nonetheless, we have yet another great smelling fragrance right here. Now, what do I smell in here? Remember, this is the part of the video that is kind of subjective, because what I'm about to tell you is my perception, and it may vary from your perception. Anyway, when you first spray the fragrance, the first thing you're gonna notice is a ton of spices exploding right in your face, just like the name suggests. But mainly, I'm getting a huge dose of cinnamon, which is definitely one of the main players in this composition. Then one of the other main players appears, and I'm talking about the tobacco, in a kind of spicy facet. If you've ever smelled the wrapper of a fine cigar, you'll get my drift. Then after a few more seconds, the saffron will start to bloom. Not as a dominant note, but you definitely, definitely are gonna notice it, giving this very subtle, leathery feel to it, which along with the spices, contributes to the fragrance to have a very cozy feeling. Then after a few more minutes, another layer comes out. Another layer that I noticed a bit less than the saffron. The booziness comes out with a bourbon note, which in my opinion, adds a very intoxicating touch to the fragrance. Now, the vanilla is there, but not in the usual creamy slash milky facet of the vanilla. If you've ever smelled an actual vanilla pot, that's what you get here. The vanilla will provide sweetness, obviously, but not in an extremely overwhelmingly sweet way. Actually, in this case, the vanilla, you do notice it, but it's not one of the main players. The vanilla is supporting the composition as a canvas. As far as the cumin go, it's probably very well blended with the rest of the spices, but I cannot quite perceive its smell, which is very distinct. Overall, the final blend of the ingredients results in a very warm, cozy, and alluring scent. Now, this is sort of a linear fragrance. It doesn't evolve too much. How you smell it after 15 minutes you sprayed it, that's pretty much exactly how the fragrance is gonna smell until the last second. Now, I just mentioned some of the notes to highlight some aspects of it. Of course, you can sense different things, different facets when you smell it, because remember, each nose is a totally different world. Now, let's talk about a very important topic for a lot of people. 
the compliments. Personally speaking, I couldn't care less about the compliments. And it's kind of crazy because a lot of people buy fragrances with the sole purpose of hopefully feeling validated throughout other people's opinion. That's not my case. I'm one of those weird people that buy fragrances just to please myself, and that's it. If some other people like it, great, but I don't really care about that. Now, with that being said, I have received a very decent amount of compliments wearing this thing. Mainly from ladies. Now, performance. Let's talk about the performance. But first, let me remind you something. Not all atomizers were created equal. Some of them are average, some of them just get the job done. You got those crappy ones that the bottle of perfume basically just spits when you're applying it on your skin and clothing without the consistent burst of perfume. You also got the famous mist atomizer, but you gotta play with them because not all kinds of atomizers are gonna eject the same amount of perfume. This one, this one is okay. Now the performance on this, I would say is average. I'm getting six hours, maybe sometimes a little bit more in a very good day for my skin, using seven to 12 sprays in total in both my skin and clothing. Now projection, using that amount of sprays, you'll be projecting two meters from you for 10 minutes, then you'll have it within your arm's reach for another hour, then you'll have it within your personal bubble, let's say your elbow's reach for another two hours before it gradually tones down until it becomes a skin scent. But even then, people will notice you when you're close to them because this creates a sort of aura around you. Not very dense, I have to say, but people will notice you after several hours you apply this. When you're close to them, I repeat. Remember, not all fragrances were created with the purpose of being projecting like crazy with a longevity of 12 plus hours. There are more subtle scents that were created precisely with the purpose of being more intimate. But for the hand grenade shaped bottle and the name Extreme, you probably might expect a performance at least over six hours. Sadly, on my skin, that's not gonna happen. This is not gonna fill an entire room, even if you overspray. I'm speaking from experience. As long as the fragrance is projecting, it's gonna be on a medium to close distance. Now, occasions. I will tell you something. Let me remove this because the rattling is very annoying. This is one of my favorite nighttime fragrances for fall and winter. Now, considering what I just said about the performance, you can easily assume that this is not the fragrance that you want to wear when you go out to the nightclub when there is a lot of people smoking cigarettes and God knows what else or somewhere in open spaces. As far as the occasions go, with the exception of clubbing, this is something that I would use for night outs as opposed to your daily driver office fragrance. Now, I don't recommend it, but you could use this in the office if you wanted to, because as I just said, the performance is not as bombastic as you might expect. But the smell is just made for the night outs in my opinion, not for the office. I would use this when you're hanging out with your friends, having a coffee, when you're going to the movie theater, when you go to the little get together at your friend's house, when you're swinging at the mall, on a date for sure, this is great for close interaction dates, when you go out to grab a cocktail, or even using it when you're fresh out of the shower before going to sleep. Again, with those occasions being said, take that into consideration for the colder months of the year. Gender. Let's go with gender. I'm gonna keep this fairly short. For my nose, this leans way more towards the masculine spectrum. The spices and the tobacco notes are not used in a facet that could be classified as unisex this time. However, if a lady likes the smell of spices, cinnamon, and tobacco, you already know, go ahead and do your thing. Age. I would say if you're close to your 30s, you're good to go until the end of your days. Again, this is not a playful scent for a teenage to wear. You have another options for that, like the original Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette, for instance. That one is gonna give you a very good general picture of what's going on in here but with a little more playful touch. Because this one, the extreme version, smells a little bit more mature. So, quality, great. Versatility, 6.5 out of 10. Performance, average. Compliments, you bet. Now, personally speaking, I really, really like this fragrance. I bought this one a couple of years ago due to the hype and also the rumor that it was gonna be discontinued. And I can say it was a very good and safe blind buy. It wasn't something that totally blew me away, but this is a very good, well-balanced fragrance. I really wished the performance was heavier, but oh well. It is what it is. By the way, this was the last review of this year, 2024. I'll be back next year with hopefully a lot more to review. And finally, remember, at the end of the day, do what you want with your fragrances. No one, and I mean absolutely no one, 
is entitled to tell you what to do. This is just my opinion as I stated in the very beginning of the video. If this review was useful to you, I would feel very glad, I would feel very honored. But at the end of the day, do as you please. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, I really hope you found this video useful. Taksomike, merci beaucoup, muito obrigado. Danke schon, muchas gracias. Spasiva, quietos, grazie mille. Arigatou gozaimasu. See you in the next video.